So um, there's a view amongst some critics that democracy is on the decline in India. Equally, there is the opposition which continues to allege that there are attempts to undermine the constitution and change it. What's your opinion on that? No, uh, I used to work for a company called GE. I was telling my daughter the other day, it was this, you used to have a slogan which says, quality needs no words. Its impact is deafening, right? Actually, same thing in life. Evidence needs no words. Its impact is deafening. All those people who said democracy is dead, democracy is finished, the India is going towards anarchy or, you know, dictatorship. The evidence is in front of you, right? The election results. The election results. Clear cut, you know, you know. So, uh, the point is, as far as democracy is concerned, you know, let's not waste time. There is no democracy under threat. Democracy is thrive, running, fully operational, fully functional, and it has delivered again and again, right? You know, and, and I think, and I think it's not a matter of opinion, it's a matter of facts. So the facts are clear, it's impact is, anybody who uh, said democracy is uh, under threat in India must humble, be humble enough to say, that I'm sorry, I, maybe I was genuinely saying it, maybe I was under a false impression, my matter is settled. Now let us come to the issues on hand. That does not mean that all the issues have gone, but democracy under, under threat is not, not there. As far as this narrative about changing the constitution is concerned, etc. is concerned, I think there is no, there is no, uh, there was no threat to it, but the political class and which rightly they should use that as an example to gain some tactical advantages. They got some 30, 40 seats um, extra because of being able to create that fear among the people. Um, Personally, I think, again, going back to my earlier point, I do, do I think it was in national interest? I don't think it was. I think it was it was bad politics, but it worked for them. Maybe uh, it is uh, it is okay. It is for them to decide with how much they want to take their politics to. But uh, but I don't think it was the right thing to do. But again, there is no threat to the constitution of India. And of course, definitely with these kind of numbers, there is no threat.